Christmas really is fast approaching now and if you haven't already got your decorations up I'm sure you're already thinking about it so I thought what's better than to show you how to make your very own log reindeer. Making the log reindeer is actually a really simple process the toughest part is going to be sourcing the logs. Now I'm in a really lucky position that we have got a few conifers and trees that have been trimmed down throughout the year and my dad always stacks the logs up at the back of the garden so I've got some to choose from. Now you might be able to find them off your neighbours. If you see them out anywhere in public, please don't just take them. You've got to make sure that you've got permission, whoever owns them. Even if it looks like they're just getting thrown away, it's better to be safe than sorry. So make sure you always ask permission, don't just take them. Now, as you can imagine, not all logs are the same. They're all different shapes and sizes, but essentially what you're gonna to need to make the reindeer is a big log for the body, a slightly smaller log for the head, and then some smaller still logs that we can turn into legs. I can sort out the detailing later, but for now, I'm gonna get all the pieces cut to size. With all the logs cut to size, now it's time to drill the holes where we can fit the legs. Now I'm going to be using the biggest drill bit that I've got, which is a 35mm forstner bit. Ideally, you'd have a bit size that matches the thickness of the legs, but I'll be able to whittle the legs down a little bit to make sure they fit in the holes. I'm going to drill four holes into the underside of the body for each of the legs. flip the body over and I'm going to drill a hole with the same drill bit in the front this will be where the neck will go now that I've got all the legs to a point where they'll actually fit into the holes that I've drilled I'm going to stick them in place using construction adhesive. Now the adhesive that I'm using will work indoor and outdoor so it'll still stick even if there's a bit of moisture still left in the wood. While the legs are drying up, I'm going to get the head stuck in place. And first of all, I'm going to glue the neck into the head. Then I can get it glued into the body. So the construction adhesive is set now and it's time to add the googly eyes. I'm going to be applying this with some super glue. It'll set quicker and it will be a lot stronger as well. And of course, you've got to add the red nose, haven't you? I'm going to be using a pom-pom for this. So this is the log reindeer done. I think you'll agree, a really simple project, but it really is quite effective. As soon as you put those goggly eyes on and the pom-pom red nose, it really comes to life. As I mentioned, it is a bit difficult sourcing the logs, but if you can find them, just keep an eye out. You want a big fat one for the body, slightly smaller one for the head, and some really narrow ones for the legs and the neck. The antlers that come from really nice spindly branches, all glued together just with some construction adhesive in some holes that you can drill anywhere you like really if you do give this a go let us know in the comments down below and if you liked it make sure you hit that like button if you haven't subscribed to on a budget already make sure you click the subscribe button and then click the little bell icon next to it that way you'll get a notification as soon as we upload a new video thank you all for watching well chuffed with him <laughs>